If we think about uh, how many times did we argue with other people, other people argued with us <clears throat> through our lifetime, I think uh, normally it's quite a bit. Uh, so I want to share with you today the Huai Xuan point on, on argument and what we call emotional friction. Um, so, you know, the human being is like a sharing machine. It's like a, it's an entity, a creature that likes to share. Sometimes, of course, we hold on to things, but oftentimes we like to share. And uh, when we have a feeling of abundance and when we feel good and awesome and grateful and kind and we share that, then the other receiving party, of course, feels that sense of bliss and feel really great and life is awesome. But when we feel deficient or when we feel pain, sometimes we keep it for ourselves. But many times we do share this pain too. And when we share this pain with another person, then this feels like, you know, uh, hurting or uncomfortable to the other person and that creates a friction. So when someone shares with me their pain point, of course, if they're asking for help and they said, I feel hurt, can you help me? This is not called sharing pain, asking for help. But sharing pain means I feel hurt. I don't know what's going on with me. I feel really angry, really upset. Something is, is missing for me. And I share that feeling with another person. This is called sharing pain. So now when I receive it on my end, the pain of another person, like they want to argue with me. They shout at me or they feel bad and they share it with me by talking to me in a certain way. When I feel this, if I, you know, if I think that that other person wants to hurt me and therefore I feel hurt then I start to defend myself or fight back or argue back and in that case you know normally the result is not optimal this is when emotional friction is created someone feels pain it could be something that I cause it could be something that someone else has caused it now last week last year or even 20 years ago so the pain that a person shares with me, it's not necessarily something that I did. It could be, but not necessarily. But nonetheless, when someone comes to me not with kindness, it's because they feel a certain pain somewhere from someone, and they share it with me. They share the pain. Like I feel their pain. Now, it, it is important for, in the Fai Shuan, it is important to realize that what we're experiencing right now, let's say aggressiveness of another person, uh, and it could be like, you know, passive aggressive, it could be front, you know, total, total frontal aggressiveness, right? It could come in different uh, shapes and forms, but when someone shares it with me, it's important, according to the Hwai Shan, to understand that it is their weakness, it is their pain that they're sharing with me, and, and that triggers in me a sense of, of compassion. So instead of feeling hurt by it, I start feeling a, a different things coming up in my heart and that helps me transform it because when you realize that the other person who is not being nasty to you is feeling pain and is sharing this pain with you so when you think about it the pain that they're sharing needs help now it could come in different way and it doesn't mean that we need to get the beating and accept it but it does help to realize that when we look at another person who is not kind to us and realize that there is actually pain in there and if we can truly palpate it, like feel it, feel the pain that they have, then it helps me smile, you know, it helps me come up with good ideas, what I could say, what actions can I take, even thoughts, what thoughts come to my mind that actually can help it help remedy their pain, help them. I don't take offense by it, I don't feel threatened by it, I don't feel pain. You know, when someone else feels pain and they bring it over to me, I don't feel that pain. So I wanted to share with you this, you know, tip, this advice from the Fai Shan. When you start getting into an argument, if you're initiating the argument, you should realize that you're in pain. There's something causing you pain here. And of course, uh, if you try to blame the other person, that's not going to go far unless the other person is cultivated.
but by understanding that I feel pain, so I'm getting angry with them, it helps me to start working on myself. If someone else comes to me with an argument and they feel very unhappy, I should look at them and realize that there is some pain. If that pain is caused by me, obviously I need to transform it so I don't cause it anymore. If that pain is caused or was caused in the past by someone else to them, then I would try, even though they are arguing with me, I would try to help them solve that conflict that caused that pain. But I think that it's a, it's a wonderful idea from the Fai Shan that this argument and emotional frictions that shouldn't exist comes from a pain point. And if we realize that pain needs help and, not need, and does not need more arguing and more fighting, uh, then I think the world can be a little better place. So, thanks for watching.